There was even a novel written called The Heart of Darkness, calling this chemware and dark matter. This is from a scientist describing dark matter. But until recently, scientists had no idea that it existed. It will decide the fate of the universe, but we have no idea what it is. Now I'm going to read you a quotation from E.A. Wallace Budge, Gods of the Egyptians. The older company of gods have been described as personifications of aspects or phases or properties of primeval matter and may thus be enumerated. New newt, because they're always paired. In the ancient African conception, there is no male without female, no female without male, ever. New newt is the boundless primordial fluid mass. Hehu hehut is limitlessness and infinity. Amen ament is the hidden and the invisible, and kekui kekut is the primary darkness. This describes the state of existence prior to the onset of this universe. Also from E.A. Wallace Budge, Osiris. Hail Osiris, stand up, rise up. Thy mother Newt gives thee birth. Thy two sisters make thee to journey. In thy name, Kemware, the great black one. So we have the sense of blackness being at the very heart and the essence of the beginning of sin, uh, things, right at the very beginning of the African development of their worldview. You see, because the thing about what they found out about dark matter in the universe is that it makes up between 90 to 90, 99% of the universe. So this is why in the ancient African conceptions they say light is born from darkness.